Hi everyone, today I want to share with you the things that I discovered um, when I transcribed the chords of Minus Wing. So what I did, I listened to the tune Minus Wing, the very famous one, the version of 1937, and I tried to figure out what were the chords that were played. So, it's pretty easy to figure out the chords because they are, in that tune, they are very easy to listen. Uh, in some tunes, you may know that it's not that easy. We mostly hear the rhythm type of sound of the guitar, but we don't hear the notes that well, like this. But in that tune, it's very easy. So what we can hear just after the... No, it's very, this very famous solo beginning, which is not uh, this. It's clearly this. And just after that chord, we can hear very clearly these notes. So let's listen to that exactly, to that exact chord. This doesn't mean that the, the whole chord that is played is just the three notes, but it means that it's an A minor and there is no major 6, for example. It's not that chord or that one. It's clearly this sound that we hear. Probably played that, that, like that. Right after that, we have a D minor. So let's listen to the chord that is played. And it's clearly a D minor chord like this. We hear very clearly, very easily, these three notes. Probably this one, which is maybe less easy to hear. So that's probably this chord, a, D, a plain D minor chord. And of course, we can try to figure out those chords during the whole song and you will notice that the people who do the accompaniment on that tune, they clearly play minor chord, plain minor chord. No minor seven, no minor six, no minor six nine, just A minor and D minor. To me, this is something that's very important to notice and to be aware of because in a lot of tutorials, uh, many guitar, gypsy jazz teacher, guitar teacher, they teach to always play minor six chord or maybe some other type of chord with a lot of embellishments. But in the, the chords that are played behind Django Reinhardt solos, usually it's plain minor or major chords, sometimes major six chord, but minor six chord are not very common. Also, if we look at a few videos, a few footage uh, where Django plays and where we can see the people who accompany, accompanying him, like Joseph, for example, we can see, for example, on J'attendrai, a plain major chord like this. Played exactly with this position, with this hand position. And also another one, which is a seven chord played like this. This is a position, a chord position that I really like. And on J'attendrai, on the video footage, it's played like this with a chromaticism from G7 to F sharp 7. On the screen, you can see the hand positions, but it's better to go and see the original video footage uh, to be able to see exactly how they move their hands. Also, on another video footage where we see Django playing for dancers, we can see in the background, it's a bit small, but it's possible to see it, a hand position from, um, it's Joseph who plays the accompaniment, and he plays this form of chord. I don't know if it, maybe it's a D major, maybe an E flat major, I don't know exactly, because we can see this part of the neck or the body of the guitar but it's this hand position for a major chord and this hand position for a seventh chord. So it's important to notice that it's not six nine chords that we play very often in gypsy jazz, but plain major chord like this or like this. And all the embellishments, usually they are played by Django who doesn't necessarily play la pompe, but it does kind of a comping, I would say. For example, on minor swing, what we can easily hear is when he, you hear the 
it's Django who does this and it's exactly on that chord which is an A minor 6 9 chord so with the embellishments but behind you hear just a plain minor chord to my point of view it's very important to be aware of this for different reasons the first one being a lot of people play these chords or even teach these chords so minor 6 chord minor 6 9 and they play, they play these chords everywhere but they didn't transcribe a single song from Django and I'm talking about the accompaniment, accompaniment part so it's very important to know that the very common chords are minus, minor chords and not minor 6 chords or minor 7 also, I've met quite a lot of people who told me, yeah, but that's jazz, you know, you can do what you want. Well, it's true that in jazz you can reharmonize things and change things, harmonies, quite a lot, but not, well, not in all types of jazz. And also, I think it's very important to be aware of um, the chords that will play originally and especially in that type of music because it's just a single musician who created it so you have to be aware of what were the chords played by Django Reinhardt and what were the chords that Django asked the his brother for example or the people who accompanied him to play so that's very important also I would say if you want to play New Orleans music with major seven chords or if you want to play bossa nova with plain major and minor chords it will still still be New Orleans or bossa nova but it will sound a bit different from the original sound of bossa nova or New Orleans so choosing the right quality of chord really helps to make this music sound or like the original the more I play this music and the more I really enjoy playing a lot of plain minor and major chords um, and the more I think it sounds better in fact uh, and a lot of people usually ask me why I play this kind of chords and I'm always surprised how people don't know at all what kind of chords were played by the the people who accompanied Django Reinhardt so I'm always surprised so I wanted to do this video in English for as many people as possible to be aware of that you may already be aware of it but I published a few months ago um, a playlist of tunes of very famous gypsy jazz tunes all transcribed so there are two hundreds of them a bit more than two hundred of them all transcribed by ear so the chords of the tunes are transcribed by ear and it's freely available on my website it's called the transcribed gypsy jazz chord book and you can download it in pdf and also in iReal pro format and in the first pages of that pdf file you will find a few tips about how to choose your chords and the thing that you really have to be aware of if you want to do accompaniment so la pompe the right way. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something in this video, please subscribe if you are not subscribed yet, please leave a comment, ask a question if you have any question and I'll be publishing a few videos in English, a few tutorials like this in English, even if most of them are in French, some of them will still be in English. See you!